so. I forgot he comes up with that, so. Okay, perfect. So, uh, just, uh, if you want to play uh, three commercials, that'd be fine, so. Yeah, it'll just be like normal, you run it as normal. And I think, yeah, I think you're going to be able to hear stuff a lot easier, so not as loud. Yeah, that's my bad. I'm like, oh crap, I have video here too. I, I had in my head that there was no video, but there is video. So, my, that's my bad. It features a state-of-the-art welding lab and classroom. Students can learn on their schedule a variety of welding techniques and methods now available on the DMAC Carroll campus. The expansion also includes a brand new commons area that features study spaces and will host many events, including guest speakers. With this new space, students can easily access one on the top here. To make your educational goals a reality, come see our expansion today or call us at 792-1755. Motor Inn of Carroll is your hometown team for all of your sales, service, parts, and collision needs all season long. From the helpful sales staff to the area's best service department, Motor Inn of Carroll has the expertise that you need to stay on the road and keep that auto investment looking good. From work to play, they have it all. Good luck to all the area teams from Motor Inn of Carroll. Iowa, the Oweaver Rockets playing host to the Coon Rapids Bear Crusaders. Kind of a, a pseudo season finale before the Rolling Valley Conference Tournament this upcoming weekend. Quite an exciting time here in Westside, Iowa, honoring their seniors on Parents' Night. And it's also Pink Out Night, so the Weaver Rockets will be wearing their bright pink uniforms in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And also here tonight, uh, Coon Rapids Beard. Plenty of their players have uh, pink streaks in their hair or pink headbands or pink shirts, pink socks even. So both of these teams uh, coming out decked out in pink. Let's talk a little bit more about this hometown team, the Arweaver Rockets. They come into tonight with a 3-13 and record, 3-4 and four in the Rolling Valley Conference. Uh, they, too, are having a little bit of some struggles here this season. But they did go 1-1 one one at the camp tournament this past weekend, defeated Peyton Chardin 2-0, and then lost to Riverside 2-0. to zero. That Riverside team really had some, some nice all-around players uh, for their team. Uh, biggest thing from that tournament is that they didn't have three of their players. They didn't have their main setter, Delaney Shirky. They didn't have one of their better serving uh, servers in uh, Trista Reese. And then also uh, Samantha Hinners, one of their other seniors in the front row, wasn't there this past week. And so that kind of affected their play a little bit uh, on Saturday. Plenty of athleticism on this Arweva team. Jeff Lincoln and myself watched them, like we said, uh, at the camp tournament. Really impressed with this Arweva team. They have a lot of girls who go up for the ball, swing well. Uh, of course, kind of the leader offensively this team, Maggie Regaler, coming into tonight. 129 kills, 146 digs, 19 blocks, 22 aces, either first or second uh, on the team this year. So Maggie Regaler, kind of that star for this Arweva team. Uh, some of the other girls that have been doing very well, Delaney Shirky setting the ball well, 262 assists, 29 aces. That leads the team here this season. The other girl I want to put out, uh, Jamie Hausman's been playing really well all around. 48 kills, 110 digs as well. And then another senior, Cora Obrick, 79 kills, 106 digs, 29 blocks. Going to be interesting to see how they help the next generation of our Weaver girls develop here this season. You know, you're losing five seniors. You got some girls next year for this Weaver team that are going to be decent, but, you know, we're going to have to see what happens um, when these seniors leave, what kind of impact they left. Uh, and talking about their schedule, of course, they'll be at the RVC tournament this upcoming weekend. Uh, yes, this upcoming weekend on Saturday. And Arweva in the first round of the playoffs next Monday. They get St. Edmund. We'll be there to broadcast that game over in Fort Dodge. Coon Rapids, Baird Goods, Griswold. So both these teams matching up, I'd say, fairly well 
in the playoffs, they get teams that aren't, you know, a Noel Fonda or an East Sac or any of those bigger, more powerhousey teams in 1A. They really get some nice competition coming into the playoffs. I think Griswold has five wins on this season. St. Edmund had, may have three or four. Um, didn't see that when I was looking up stuff here for this game. Um, but two very winnable games for both of these teams coming into playoffs on Monday night. Again, we'll be there in Fort Dodge for the Arweba St. Edmund game. So we hope you can join us then. And once again, a lot of change-ups in the lineup for Coon Rapids Baird. Uh, we do have Gracie Johnson, who's out here tonight with illness. So we wish uh, Gracie Johnson a, a quick recovery. Hopefully she gets better. Some of her teammates told me before we uh, went on the air, they were, uh, she was wanting to be here. She was here, actually, at this game until she was too sick and they had to bring her home. So again, her teammates were like, no, you're sick. You're going to go home. You're going to sleep. <laughs> so Gracie, uh, or her parents, if you're listening, Hopefully she gets better. Hopefully she gets some rest here tonight. Uh, we are thinking about her here tonight. Again, it's parents' night here in Westside, Iowa. Our Weaver is playing host to Coon Rapids Baird. We'll take another quick one-minute break. We'll be right back here on 93. Being a part of a team is not only fun, it can give our students a sense of identity and help them develop long-term relationships. This is Dr. Nate Luth, Next Generation Chiropractic. Student athletes, make sure you are taking care of your body before, during, and after the game. Proper warm-ups and cool-down are vital to staying on the field or court, and having regular chiropractic appointments can help reduce the risk of injury. Stay in the game by taking care of your body. Good luck to all area student athletes this season. Let's stay healthy and have fun. For almost 150 years, Roselle Mutual has been insuring homes, farms, and so much more in Carroll and the surrounding communities. We offer outstanding coverage whether you need it for your shiny new car, your next ATV ride in the trails, or boating day on the water, or you're looking to put better protection on your family home and farm. Roselle Mutual and Grinnell Mutual are here to provide you with expertise, exceptional service, and quality insurance for all of your needs. For commercial, farm, home, and auto insurance, give us a call today at 792-4525. Roselle Mutual, proudly insuring the area since 1876. But what we're going to do here tonight, folks, is that we're going to record tonight's broadcast and we'll post it later on tonight on our YouTube, our Carol Broadcasting Sports Network YouTube and Facebook pages. So watch out for the video replay of that here tonight. Again, it's Parents' Night, Pink Out Night uh, here tonight for the Arweva Rockets as Arweva donning their bright neon pink jerseys as the uh, Coon Rapids Baird Crusaders also pitching in with this Pink Out Night theme. They have some pink headbands. They got some pink strands in their hair, even pink socks. So Coon Rapids Baird is participating in Pink Out Night tonight as well, just for a great cause. You know, I believe they're taking some donations for, you know, breast cancer awareness. So just, just a great night overall here in Westside, Iowa. And uh, before we get too far, folks, also just want to say, uh, you know, I, I have a special moment here tonight, not only in this game, but also in St. Edmund. I uh, promise I'm going to cry on air, but my sister Elizabeth Bruner playing here tonight. She's a senior for our Weaver. Uh, just so proud of all that she's done here uh, throughout her whole high school career. It's been an honor to come back here to the Carroll area, not only to broadcast games for all of you, but to, of course, come back and broadcast games with my sister being involved. So, uh, you know, just just a fantastic honor here tonight. We're going to have fun with this game. This is going to be great, um, and hopefully you're going to be along for the ride. I want to also remind you that we will be having our Mackie Motors post-game show, Find New Roads at Mackie Motors in Lake City. That will be coming up following the contest. We'll talk with one or two of the Coon Rapids Bear players first since they are the away team. We'll get them on the road as quick as possible. We'll talk with some of the Oweeva seniors. I believe we'll have my sister Elizabeth Bruner. We'll have Sammy Hinners coming up to talk with us. We want to get through uh, through the entire senior lineup. So we'll have uh, Samantha and Elizabeth come on up for uh, post-game interviews. I believe we'll have Cora and Jamie House, or Cora Orbrick, Jamie Houseman coming up during the St. Ed game, so we'll get them on the mic on Monday night. Once again, the Coon Rapids Baird Crusaders tonight, they led by Marissa Dembinski. They come into tonight with a record of 6-18 and overall, 3-5 and five in the Rolling Valley Conference. They'll be starting Ella Heidoff, Malia Clayberg, Lydia Hoffbauer, Lacey Davis, Shelby Wiskus, Aubrey Hoffbauer, and Anna Hart. So I tell you what, this is uh, a different lineup for what Kuhn is expecting. Gracie Johnson, again, is out with illness here for tonight. So they've had to change up kind of tonight. They literally came into tonight 
thinking Gracie was going to play, but they had to make some changes late. So, you know, obviously this is going to make an impact. It is going to, you know, make some changes in the Coon lineup. We'll see how they kind of adjust to these changes. So we are just about a few minutes away from the start of this game. We're going to take a quick three-minute timeout. We'll be back. We'll get the announcements on the starting lineups. We'll get the national anthem. And we'll have first serve coming up next in three minutes on 93.7 KKRL. Heritage Insurance wants to wish the Coon Average And Nui Auto and Jefferson, we make your vehicle buying experience stress-free. Our sales team will help determine your vehicle needs with options and features that you desire. Our finance team will explain financing terms and options best for each customer. Our service team is always here for you. From our Oil Changes for Life program to our exclusive warranty forever, we work to keep your new way vehicle going long after the sale. Stop by and let our family help yours get into the next car, truck, or SUV. Hey sports fans, if you're hearing this message, chances are it's from a device that holds a battery. These little batteries cause big fires in the landfill. They explode when crushed, and we crush everything. Drop batteries in the battery collection program, not in the trash. Collection sites are located in communities throughout Carroll County. Visit carrollcountylandfill.com to find a collection site near you. We're Carroll County Solid Waste, wishing our area athletes a safe and successful sports season. Does your roof need looked at? Let our hail damage experts at Brinks Exteriors work for you to get you a new roof. Call 712 Roof Pro. We know the last thing you want to do is worry about your biggest investment. Hail happens, but we can fix it. Call Brinks Exteriors now for a free roof inspection. 712 Roof Pro. DMAX 11,000 square foot expansion is done. It features a state-of-the-art welding lab and classroom. Students can learn on their schedule a variety of welding techniques and methods now available on the DMAC Carroll campus. The expansion also includes a brand new commons area that features study spaces and will host many events, including guest speakers. With this new space, students can easily access one-on-one -on -one support from advisors and counselors. To make your educational goals a reality, come see our expansion today or call us at 792-1755. Trees company. People want and deserve more comfort, efficiency, and reliability, both in their homes and places of work. Dries Company will be there to meet these challenges, whether we are designing a new system or servicing your existing equipment. We are a rapidly growing company that strives to meet and exceed all your expectations. No matter if you are looking to buy new appliances or need the help from one of our certified technicians, we are here for you. We pride ourselves in our installation and service. Dries Company, servicing the Carroll area since 1933. Being a part of a team is not only fun, it can give our students a sense of identity and help them develop long-term relationships. This is Dr. Nate Luth, Next Generation Chiropractic. Student athletes, make sure you are taking care of your body before, during, and after the game. Proper warm-ups and cool-down are vital to staying on the field or court, and having regular chiropractic appointments can help reduce the risk of injury. Stay in the game by taking care of your body. Good luck to all area student athletes this season. Let's stay healthy and have fun. Too. American Family Insurance wants to help you bring your dream home to life. New homeowners can save an average of 22%. American Family Insurance. 
For details, contact Nicole Unken at Nicole Unken Agency. Call 712-792-1262 or stop by 412 Highway 30 today. One of the best kept secrets in Carroll is JP Flooring. I was looking to replace the floor in a couple rooms at home. It can be super overwhelming with all of the options available. I popped by JP Flooring and was super surprised and impressed with the showroom and selection. I had no idea how extensive their product lines were. They have a designer on staff that helped me narrow down what I was looking for. When you change your floors, it changes the whole character of a room. I used their product visualizer and could literally see in advance what the styles would look like in my room. I totally recommend JP Flooring and Carroll. It's Parents' Night and Pink Out Night tonight, so a very special broadcast and a special game we have for you here tonight. Again, the Stroud Rapids Bear team is going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit behind just because they don't have Gracie Davis here tonight, so they had to make some adjustments very late here tonight to adjust to see who's going to be setting. But we'll see how they adjust. A couple of familiar faces in the crowd, Jenna. Houseman, uh, the sister of Jamie Houseman, graduated for her back in 2016 in the building. See Cooper Cook, who's uh, doing well in college from what I hear, doing uh, in the building here tonight. So great to see Cooper here as well. So it looks like we'll have Sammy Hinners, Maggie Regaler, Delaney Shirky, Elizabeth Bruner, Cora Obrick, and Jamie Houseman. All the seniors, uh, minus I guess Shirky, out there tonight. Ready to get it going on Parents Night and Pink Out Night. And in the lineup starting for the Cooter Spirit Crusaders, we'll have Malia Clayberg, Anna Hart, Shelby Wiskus, Lacey Davis, uh, Ila Heidoff, and Lydia Hoffbauer in the lineup. So to get started in set number one, Coon Rapids Bear to my right, Arweva to my left, and it'll be Ella Heidoff from the CRB Crusaders getting it going. This one will go into the middle row. Here's Obrick to Shirky, who can't quite get it, and it's going to be an ace serve to get it going for Heidoff. So Ella Heidoff will get it all going. CRB will lead it 1-0 here in set number one. It'll be Heidoff back to serve again. Heidoff gets one into the back row. It's Cora to Shirky. In the middle of Samantha Hinner swinging, but Davis able to dig one that one up. It's going to be Heidoff who sets it up left side to Anna Hart who gets it to the back row. It's Obrick to Shirky. She sets it up left side to Regaler into the back row who gets it. Maggie Regaler is just a great athletic girl for this Arweaver Rockets team. That one proved that, went back to the back road, almost to the serving line and got it. It'll be Shirky who will be back to serve. I'm going to have to get the name or the number right because normally Delaney Shirky wearing number zero tonight, wearing number 12. It's Davis gets the hide off back to Davis who's got a free ball and over. It's going to be Hausman. To Shirky, to the left side, to Regaler. Lacey Davis able to get the dig. Overpass goes up into the net. And it's going to be four touches on CRB. Nope, it's going to be a line violation. Excuse me, it was going to be four hits until one of the CRB players looked like Heidoff potentially going across the net, stepping over the line. So Delaney Shirky will be back to serve here. It's on the way. Going right into the net that time. It's now a two-all tie for this contest in set number one. It'll be Anna Hart who is back to serve for the Cooter Rapids Baird Crusaders. Serve is on the way. Top spin serve just goes over to tape. Regaler gets it to Shirky. She sets left side to Schrodgers into the contest. Hart with the dig to Heidoff who sits it in the middle to Malia Kleberg. She's going to send that one far and out. And that's going to be a 3-2 lead here for the Arweva Rockets in set one. We're going to get a substitution here. Hinners is out. Trista Reese back into the contest. She was not at that camp tournament. She serves very well this season. Nice nine ace serves for her. Nice serve right into the back row. It's Hart. It's going to be free balled over by Heidoff. Kept alive by Reese. Shirky sets left side to her Galler. Blocked in it by CRB. It's going to be pushed over by Obrick. Here's Heidoff who gets it to Hoffbauer. She's got to push it over. It's Hausman. Gets it to Shirky. Sets middle to Obrick who's blocked at the net. That's Clayberg and Hoffbauer with the block. A nice block by Clayberg and Hoffbauer. They've got the height, they got the distance, and they got it right when they needed to. So nice block for CRB. It's now tied at three apiece. Houseman will get the serve received. The Shirky sits at the left side to Obrick. He's going to swing line. It's going to be a heart. It goes into the rafters. It's a close contest. 4-3 lead here for the Rockets early on. And a heart just trying to serve receive that time. It just gets shanked right into the, the rafters that time. 
Here's Maggie Regaler with the serve. This one is going to go out of bounds. It'll now be 4-4 tie for the Rockets and the Crusaders. Figured this was going to be a close matchup. And again, not too bad setting-wise by both or by the CRB without uh, Gracie Johnson here. Gracie, De yeah, Gracie Johnson, got the right name there. Maya Downing now into the contest wearing number 10. Sure, he's going to push this one over. It's Hoffbauer. She sets it to, Dow to Downing. Gets it over now to Wiskus, who's going to send that one far and away. It'll be a point for Arweva. 5-4 lead for the Rockets. So I'm going to get this name right. Maya Downing again wearing the number 10 that Gracie Johnson normally wears. So if I get the name wrong, apologize there. Shrod will come out of the contest. Looks like... Uh, I can't see who's in the contest. I believe Sammy Hinner's back in the contest. Here's Downey who gets it over. Reese gets it to Shirky who sets it behind her. The Obrick on the left side. She tries to go cross from, or she be from right to left. Goes out of bounds and we'll go at another tie here. Five to five in set number one. Some nice swings from the Rockets early on. Serve is on the way from Hoffbauer. Here's Houseman. She's going to overpass it. Taking the opportunity is Aubrey Hoffbauer who gets the kill. Nice size that time by Aubrey Hoffbauer. She saw the overpass coming, and just as it crosses the tape, she swings at it, goes into the front row, and the point goes to CRB. 6-5 lead for the Crusaders. Serve is on the way. Lydia Hoffbauer, though, going to put it into the net. We're now tied at 6-all. We'll get another substitution. Sammy Hinners coming in place of Trista Reese. Hinners will go into the front row. It'll be Cora Obrick now with the serve. She goes to the left side. It's going to be Hoffbauer with the serve received to Davis. She sets in a little bit of miscommunication between Violet Johnson and Downing. And the serve will go to Arweva. So 7-6 lead here for the Rockets. It'll be Cora Ulbrich back to serve again. Off of that, a serve. It's on the way, and it's going to be out. Seven all tie early on. It's been a back-and-forth battle between the Crusaders and the Rockets. Seven all tie. Serve is on the way here from Lacey Davis. This one just barely getting over to the line from where I'm sitting on the stage here. Looked to go line. But it's an 8-7 lead here for the Rockets. Jamie Hausman is now back to serve. Hausman, she'll get it to the back row. Here is Downing. She sets it left side to Anna Hart. Looking to get it. Maybe get a touch that time, but it's going to go out of bounds. She tries to go cross from left to right. Was unable to do so. Now our Weaver with their largest lead of the contest at 2 at 9-7. Through the hands of Violet Johnson. And that time, it's Jamie Houseman with the ace serve. 10-7 lead now for our Weaver. Largest lead of them tonight. Jamie Houseman back to serve. It's on the way. Here's Violet Johnson going to the front row. And another ace serve for Jamie Houseman. 11-7, are we even now in a scoring streak? 4-0 here in the last couple of points since 8-7. Houseman with the serve. Here's Violet Johnson. She gets it to Downing. She's going to set it Lacey Davis behind the 10-foot line. It's going to be dug up that time by Houseman. Kept alive by Shirky. Bruner trying to keep it alive, but she can't. And it's going to be a point for Coon Rapids Baird. Bruner with a nice chase that time. Had to literally go full sprint to get there. She has the speed to do it. She's been down the state track twice for the hurdles. For the shuttle hurdle, I should say. We'll get a substitution here. Ella Heidoff will come in for Maya Downing. And Shelby Wiskus will come in place of Violet Johnson. It'll be Ella Heidoff now with the serve. CRB down 11-8 here in set number one. Serve is on the way. Just gets above the tape. Regaler gets it to Shirky. Sets it back to Regaler on the left side. Lacey Davis digs that one up. It's going to be Lydia Hopbauer. Fremont over to Anna Hart. Here's Houseman with the dig. She gets it too. Shirky to Hitters, who tries to go in the middle and hit it line, but just swung a little bit too hard. It is now a 11-9 lead for our Weva. Coon Rapids Baird coming back here off of the scoring run from our Weva. Regaler gets it to Shirky, sets it back to Regaler on the left side, almost getting the back row, kept alive by Hoffauer. Swinging at that time, Clayberg, and Clayberg gets it. Big swing by Malia Clayberg. She's been a, a nice front row player this season for the Crusaders. 63 kills for her. Here's a serve by Ella Heidoff. It'll be Ulbrich in the back row with the pass up to Shirky. Now to Hinners in the back row, on the front row, I should say. Hinners gets that one out of bounds. And we are at an 11 all tie. 
So tied up once again, CRB with the first tie since 7-7. Seven seven. Hide off with the serve. Here's Obrick who gets it to Shirky. She'll set it left side to Regala, who swings at it good. Lacey Davis trying to dig that one up, but she shanks it into the rafters. And Maggie Regaler with a nice kill. Two unofficially on the night. It's a 12-11 lead here for the Rockets. Again, Maggie Regalo just plays that front row so well. She leads the team 129 kills. You can make it 131 unofficially now with the two kills already tonight. Delaney Shirky here with the serve. Gets it right onto the donut, but it's going to be Hoffbauer the pass to hide off to Wiskis, who's going to put it into the net. 13-11 lead now for the Arweaver Rockets. Rockets had that nice 4-0 scoring streak not too long ago. Let's see if they can get it going here. Shirky now with the serve again. It's going to be Hoffbauer gets it to Clayberg. Free ball over now by Lacey Davis. It's Hausman to Shirky. She sets the left side to where Galler swings at it. Who's going to put it into the net? 13-12 are Weaver. Both teams offensively just having some miscues here and there that have led to plenty of ties already in this set. Here's Anna Hart with the serve. It's Hausman gets it to Shirky. Swinging at it now in the middle, it's going to be Maggie Regaler, dug up by Lacey Davis. Hide off, passes it to Hoffbauer. It's Houseman with the dig. Here's Shirky, gets it left side to Amber Regaler, trying to go cross from the left side, or excuse me, from the right side. It's going to send it just a bit too far outside. 13 13 now. That is what we're at. Back to serve again. It'll be Anna Hart. She'll send this one to the back row, but it'll go out of bounds. Arweva recaptures the lead now at 14-13. We'll get another substitution here. Trista Reese will come in place of Sammy Hinners, and Reese will come back to serve. Ask some of the girls, or I asked some of the girls from Arweva, how does Trista have the serve she does? And they're like, we don't know. It's just a weird wind-up in a serve, as this time she'll put it into the net, the old commentator's curse, I guess, that time. But she just has a, a weird wind-up when she does it. It kind of throws opponents off. That's how... Trista just has some nice serves, and they're good serves. They're good hard serves right over the tape. Here's Regaler getting it over to, to Shirky to Regaler, and it's going to go out of bounds, and I should say Maggie to Amber. We'll get them straight, so Maggie, Regaler, Amber, Regaler are out on the floor. 15-14 or 15-14 lead for CRB. Maggie gets it to Shirky. Back over to now the Coral Obrick on the left side. Block at the net, but it's going to end up a tool for Cora Obrick. We're tied at 15 again here. Eleven ties so far here tonight. Push by Shelby Whiskis. It's going to be a push now by Cora Obrick. On the attack, it's going to be Hoffbauer, and she's going to get it. Hoffbauer will go up swing and get the tool, and it's CRB recapturing the lead. 11 ties so far in this contest. Shelby Wiskus will be the one to serve this ball away. It'll be a top spin serve. Goes back to Trista Reese. Shirky now sets it back to, to uh, Maggie, who's got to go to the front row. Lacey Davis takes that one up to Downing, who sets it left side to Hoffbauer, dug up by Trista Reese. Here's Shirky, sets it left side to Jamie Houseman, who's dug up at the net, but they're going to call it four hits as the ball does not cross the tape. So now here's Coon Rapids Baird with their largest lead of the game at 17-15. Serve by Shelby Wiskus is good. Obrecht gets it to Shirky, who sets it left side to Amber Regaler, puts it into the back row, kept alive though and by Anna Hart. Here's Lacey Davis, free balled over by Downing. It's Maggie to Shirky, middle row to Cora Obrecht, who's going to be dug up. Kept alive somehow, some way that time by Aubrey Hoffbauer, but it's going to be sent over there. Here's Downing to Hoffbauer. Pushed Regaler. Amber Regaler keeps it alive. Pushed by the Rockets. Lacey Davis gets it over now to Downing. Pushed by Hoffbauer. It's going to be Hausman to Shirky. Back to Hausman on the left side. She's going to swing at it. Dug up by Hart. Here's Downing who sits at middle to Wiskis and, or excuse me, to Hoffbauer. Aubrey Hoffbauer gets it in the donut. And we're going to get our first timeout here of the set as Coon Rapids Baird leads this one 18-15. We'll be back in 30 seconds on 93.7 KKRL. 
Being a part of a team is not only fun, it can give our students a sense of identity and help them develop long-term relationships. This is Dr. Nate Luth, Next Generation Chiropractic. Student athletes, make sure you are taking care of your body before, during, and after the game. Proper warm-ups and cool-down are vital to staying on the field or court, and having regular chiropractic appointments can help reduce the risk of injury. Stay in the game by taking care of your body. Good luck to all area student athletes this season. Let's stay healthy and have fun. Coon Rapids Baird lead set one over the Arweva Rockets by a score of 18 to 15. As we welcome you back here to the Gatorade broadcast booth on 93.7 KKRL. Tyler Bruno joining you here tonight. We got uh, Dylan over here running our video equipment. Unfortunately, we are not live here tonight. Had some internet issues, but we are recording tonight's matchup. We'll upload it to our Carroll Broadcasting Sports Network YouTube and Facebook pages. First serve is on the way. Oberk will get it to Shirky. Sets it backwards to Houseman on the right left side. But Houseman is able to keep it alive off the block. It's Maggie Regaler setting it over. Here's Downing. She sets it up to Aubrey Hopower in the front row. Kept alive somehow by the Rockets. Point goes to CRB. Off the line violation, wow. So now Coon Rapids bared on a little bit of a run themselves. It's now a 4-0 run from the Rock, or for CRB. Here's Regaler, gets it to Shirky. Maggie now swinging from the 10 foot line. Lacey Davis keeps it alive. Overpass is taken advantage of by Amber Regaler. Trista Reese now to Shirky. She's at the left side to Houseman. Swings at it, Davis trying to keep it alive. It comes off of her hands. And Houseman with a nice kill. 1916 CRB Arweva trying to come back here in this set. Violet Johnson coming in place of Shelby Wiskus. Here's Amber Regaler, who will be back to serve. Amber's serve goes back to Lacey Davis, who gets it up to Downing. Downing overpass gets to Shirky now. Oberg's going to take advantage of it. Goes to the back row to Anna Hart. It's going to be Downing now to uh, Hoffbauer, Aubrey Hoffbauer. It's going to be Shirky now to Hausman. Blocked at the net. Kept alive, though, by Violet Johnson. Pushed over by Aubrey Hoffbauer, and she can't quit there. Maggie Regaler tumbling into the wall there, and she's going to be okay. Comes up with a smile. Aubrey Hoffbauer, though, gives CRB a 20 to 16 advantage. Even though CRB does not have their main setter tonight, doesn't matter. They now lead it by four here in set one. Lacey Davis directing some traffic here. Serve is on the way here from Lydia Hoffbauer. Here's Maggie Regaler to Shirky, who's got to punch it over. Here's Downing, who sets it in the middle to Aubrey Hoffbauer. Kept alive by Shirky. Maggie Regaler with a push off the arm of Lydia Hoffbauer in the back row. And that'll be a point for Arweva. They stay alive here, down by three at 20 to 17. Don't forget also one name, our motor and player of the game following the contest. A couple of girls. Kind of standing out here, Aubrey Hoffbauer with three kills, Maggie Regaler with three unofficially as well. Violet Johnson overpass, taking advantage of it is going to be Jamie Houseman. Violet Johnson tried to serve receive that time and went right over the net. And it's Jamie Houseman going up and just tipping it down into the donut. 2018, still in favor of CRB. Arweva though trying to make a run here. Cora Obrick with the serve, Lacey Davis puts it into the light and that'll be an ace serve for Cora Obrick. Arweva one point away from tying this game once again. It'll be a 13th tie if that happens. Serve on the way for Cora Obrick off of Lacey Davis. Keeping it alive is Aubrey Hoffbauer. Violet Johnson's got a free ball. This one over, and she does. Samantha Henners with the pass to Shirky, to Jamie Hausman, but Hausman can't quite get it over. Nice play, though, by Violet Johnson. She had to hit that almost from the serving line, and she gets it over. Aubrey Hoffbauer coming out. Malia Claver comes back into the front row. It'll be Lacey Davis to serve it away. Here's Cora Obrick with the pass to Delaney Shirky. It's going to be pushed over, though, by Maggie Regaler. Violet Johnson keeps it alive. Pass to Downing. She's going to set it to Lacey Davis. Sammy Hitters gets it to Delaney Shirky, but Shirky can't quite set it. Goes right in front of the net. 22-19 in favor of Coon Rapids Baird. Timeout's called on the floor. We'll take it with them. We're back in 30 seconds on KKRL. From footings to framing to finish. For farm, home, or commercial, for more than 90 years, Wallach Lumber Company has been proud to help our communities grow. With four convenient locations and one of the largest building material inventories in the area, we are sure to be able to fill all your building needs. 
from project design and estimating to friendly advice, we can't wait to be part of the process for you. Wall Lake Lumber, with locations in Wall Lake, Lakeview, Odebolt, and Carroll. We're not your grandpa's lumber yard. We are out from the Gatorade broadcast booth. Coon Rapids Baird right now on a run. They are staying ahead here in set number one, 22-19, but our Weaver is threatening as Lacey Davis for CRB will control the serve. It'll go into the back row. Bruner keeps his one alive. Overpass though goes in front of Shirky off of her hands. And that'll be out of the dump there for Anna Hart as she gets that point. 23-19 in favor of Coon Rapids Baird. They're trying to win set number one. Davis will be back to serve again. Serve goes into the back row. Bruner gets a, a good one this time. Pass to Shirky. Now to Hausman from the 10-foot line. Violet Johnson with the pass to Clayberg. It's Lacey Davis though with a free ball. Here's Maggie Regaler to, to Shirky. To Jamie Hausman who's blocked at the net. It goes up into the rafters. Down on Coon's side in the front row. And that's the point for our Weba. Jamie Hausman that time gets the point for the Rockets. 23-20 as our Weba trying to stay alive here. Hausman will get the serve. Violet Johnson gets it up front to Ella Heidoff. To Amelia Clayberg, who's blocked at the net, but the tool is going to go out of bounds. So Amelia Clayberg that time with a point. 20-24, set point here for the Coon Rapids Baird Crusaders. Down their main setter, doesn't matter. They are looking to roll here in this contest. They're one point away from winning set one. Here's Ella Heidoff with the serve. It's Obrecht who gets it to Shirky. Overpass at the net, and it falls in front of Shirky. Coon Rapids Baird will win set one, 25-20. What's the response going to be from our Weaver? We'll find out as set number two is one minute away. On 93.7 KKRL, Coon wins set one, 25-20. Visiting the Paco Credit Union was the thing that started all this. We had a lot of student loan debt, low credit scores for bad decisions we had made in our younger years. We thought it was the point where you could never come back from it. We've always wanted to own our own restaurant, so I just kind of floated the idea like, oh, I found this food truck. I was like, yeah, let's try it. Dupaco helped us so much with just putting everything together. Definitely life-changing for us. What we have right now would not have been possible without Dupaco Credit Union. One of the best kept secrets in Carroll is JP Florence. This is Iowa, and Avela Bank has called Iowa home since 1870. With 17 locations across the state, we're proud to be part of your community. Right now, you can open an Avela Bank Simply Free checking account for you or your business and get a new debit card immediately. We'll even buy your old bank's unused checks. Stop by or visit us online to see how we're making better banking available for you. Avela Bank, member FDIC.
in the middle. You had Bruner back there, Cora Obrick, Jamie Hausman. It just went right into the donut off that top spin serve. Ella Heidoff will get another serve. Goes right where to Maggie Regaleris to Shirky, who's going to send it over. Lacey Davis passes it to Heidoff. Set up to Clayberg. Clayberg, though, sees the overpass but can't quite get it. You could just see Malia Clayberg was like, I'm going to get this, I'm going to get this. And then she just swung a little bit too late. And the Rockets now with the point. It is now 2 1 CRB. Here's Delaney Shirky with the serve for the Rockets. Goes to the back row. Lacey Davis keeps this one alive. It'll be Ella Heidoff, sets it to Hoffbauer, who's got a free ball this one over. It's Hausman. She gets it to Shirky. Left side to Maggie Regaler, swings at it. And it's kept alive by Hoffbauer. Here's Heidoff, who gets it over back to Ayanna Hart on the left side, but she's unable to put it into the net. And that'll be the point for our Weevil. We're tied at two apiece. First tie here in set number three. Or set number two, excuse me. Lacey Davis with the serve receive. She passes to Heidoff, who sets it to Wiskis, who gets it over. Obrick keeps it alive. Hausman with the pass, or with the set to Reg Maggie Regaler, who free balls it over the pass to the serving line. It's now a 3-2 lead for the Coon Rapids Baird Crusaders. Serve is on the way from Anna Hart. Here's a little back and forth at the net by Schrod. Davis keeps this one alive. Here's Hoffbauer. Free ball over by two. Coon Rapids Baird Crusaders. Schrod gets it to Shirky. Now over to Maggie Regaler. Gets it over to Lacey Davis. Keeps it alive with the dig. Hoffbauer sets it over to Kleberg who sends it over. Here's Obrick to Shirky. At the net. No one there. And the point goes to CRB. 4-2 lead now for the Crusaders. Serve is on the way from Hart. A nice serve. It's Maggie Regaler to Shirky to Regaler, who's going to get the tool. Regaler just puts it right line. And Lacey Davis coming down, maybe just a cut there. She's not limping or anything. Maybe, yep, she's got a cut. A cut right on her uh, elbow there. So we'll take a quick uh, time out that time. So Lacey Davis just getting a uh, rug burn that time. Just kind of slid on the uh, on the hardwood that time. So she'll get a... Uh, Taped up real quick from head coach uh, Marissa Dembinski. Gives us some time to talk to you more about our Mackie Motors postgame show. Finding roads at Mackie Motors in Lake City. So Lacey Davis just getting some bandages. She just got cut on the hardware, hard, hardwood floor there on their, her elbow. She's going to be all right, though. They're just going to tape her up and get her back in there. We will have uh, Aubrey Hoffbauer, who will come in her place real quick. It's a 4-3 lead here for the Coon Rapids Baird Crusaders. Serve is on the way from Trista Reese. It'll be Hoff, Aubrey Hoffbauer to Lydia Hoffbauer. Free ball over by Clayberg. Here's Cora Obrick. Pushed over, or uh, tipped over, I should say, by Delaney Shirky, and she gets the point. So Shirky gets the point that time for the Rockets. We're now tied at four apiece in set number two. It's the second tie in this set. Trista Reese will be back to serve again. Reese gets it. Line, here's Lydia Hoffbauer, goes into the rafters. And Trista Reese gets another ace on the season. That's 10 for her unofficially this season. Arweva will get the lead for the first time here in the set at five to four. Reese back to serve again for the Rockets. It gets over to Hart, to Hideoff, to Lydia Hoffbauer. It's gonna be Maggie Regaler to Shirky, back to Regaler. Here's Hart who keeps it alive to Hideoff. Free ball over by Hoffbauer. Pass by Schrod to Shirky, who sets it in the middle. Push that time by Cora Obrick. Hart with the pass. An overpass over to Maggie Regalu, who swings at it and gets the kill. The Coon Rapids Baird Crusaders not too heavy about that one. They wanted to say it was a net violation, but the up official not saying it was. Reese gets the serve again. Here is Lydia Hoffbauer to, to hide off to Hoffbauer again. Here's Obrick. To Shirky, back to Obrick in the middle. She gets the tool off of the arm of Clayberg. And that is going to be the timeout here for the Kubrick's Baird Crusaders as the Weaver Rockets take a 7-4 lead. We'll take a quick 30-second timeout. We're back on KKRL. St. Anthony Regional Hospital, the regional leader in healthcare. 
dedicated to improving the health of the people they serve. At St. Anthony Regional Cancer Center, you'll find the convenience of cancer and oncology consultation and treatment in one convenient location. At St. Anthony Clinic, you'll find a team of doctors and nurses that care about you and your family's health. St. Anthony Clinic is devoted to comprehensive health care for people of all ages. For every stage of life, always look to the cross. Always St. Anthony. Broadcast booth, Tyler Bruner joining you here tonight in Westside, Iowa. Trish Teresa of the Rockets has the serve. Here's Lacey Davis. She's going to get it to Heidoff, who sets it on the left side to Hoffbauer. And it's going to be Reese with the dig, or with the pass, excuse me, the shirky. Sets it to Cora Ulbrich in the middle, but Ulbrich's going to try to go cross. It goes out of bounds. And now it is Coon Rapids Bear who controls the serve. Arweba had a nice three-point scoring stretch there. 7-5 now for the Weaver Rockets. Here comes Obrick in the middle, but it's going to be dug up by the Crusaders. Here is another nice play by Obrick in the front row. Obrick will put it right into the donut. It's now an 8-5 lead for Arweva. Again, it's parents' night for the Rockets. Pink out night as well. Arweva with the bright pink uniforms. Kunab is buried in the black uniforms. Here's Shelby Wiskus with the push. Off of the hands of Trista Reese, right behind her was Maggie Regaler. Just some miscommunication defensively from the Rockets. As the Coon Rapids Baird Crusaders will now be down by two. Here comes Maya Downing coming into the contest in place of Ella Heidoff. Downing will come into the front row. Shelby Wiskus will serve this one away. Here's Obrick to Shirky. She sets it. Obrick on the middle. It's going to be blocked at the net. Shirky keeps it alive. It's Sherrod who sends it over. Sent on over by Aubrey Hoffbauer, who's going to get the tool. Aubrey Hoffbauer having a nice night for herself. Four kills unofficially here tonight as Coon Rapids Baird now only down by one. Eight to seven lead here for Arweva in set number two. Here's Reese with the serve receive. Gets it to Shirky. Sending it over is, is Hausman. Here's Wiskus. Gets it to Downing. Sending it over is Hoffbauer, and she's going to get it. Jamie Hausman had to almost... Get out of the way of that one. It's going to be tipped off, and it's going to be an eight-all tie here in set number two. It's been a back-and-forth contest between both of these teams. Coon Rapids Baird not or were without their main setter, but hasn't mattered. We do have a line or a service error on Shelby Whiskey, so the point will go to Arweva. Do they got another substitution? Shelby Whiskey will come on out. Violet Johnson will come back into the contest. Elizabeth Bruner into the contest. She'll be back to serve. Got a couple of aces on the season. Nine from what I can see on my sheet here. Here's Hart who gets it up top to Downing. A Little bit of miscommunication uh, from Hoffbauer. Hoffbauer trying to free ball it over. It goes into the net. And now here's the Rockets who have a a 10 to 8 lead at two point here. Violet Johnson gets it to Lacey Davis, who's got to set it up, goes into the rafters, bounces around, free ball over by Aubrey Hoffbauer. Here's Bruner, gets it to Shirky. Now over left side to Hausman, who's going to be dug up by Hart. Here's Downing, gets it in the front row to Aubrey, Je Aubrey Jensen, or Aubrey Hoffbauer, excuse me, and who gets the point. Aubrey Hoffbauer making her, na her name known for that motor in player of the game here tonight. Right now, five unofficial kills. It's 10-9 Arweva. Back to serve. It is Lydia Hoffbauer. Shirky. Or excuse me. Regaler trying to serve receive at that time. It's going to go off of her hands awkwardly. And Lydia Hoffbauer comes away with an ace. It's now a 10-all tie here in set number two. Here's Hoffbauer who serves this one away. It's going to be Houseman. Overpass taking advantage of it is Aubrey Hoffbauer. Six kills unofficially for her tonight. It's an 11 to 10 lead for CRB. They recapture the lead for the first time since 4-3. Here's a serve from Hoffbauer. It's Hausman, free balled over this time by Shirky. It's Davis to Downing, gets it to Hart on the left side. Bruner keeps this one alive to Shirky. Now middle to Obrick. Violet Johnson with an overpass to Carl Obrick, who puts it into the donut. Nice playing by the Oweaver Rockets. Nice, aware nice awareness by Cora Obrick to see that overpass from Johnson. Cora Obrick will be back to serve again. 11 all tie in set two. 
This one, though, into the net. 12-11 in favor of the Coon Rapids Baird Crusaders. It'll be Aubrey Hoffbauer coming on out. Malia Clayberg will come in her place in the front row. Lacey Davis, the libero for CRB, is back to serve. She gets it to the back row. It's going to be up to Shirky. Now to Henners, who swings at it from the left side. And nearly two touches, but Violet Johnson's going to push this one out. Obrick gets it to Bruner. It's now going to be free ball over by Hausman. Here's Davis with the pass up to Downing. He's going to set it to a Clayberg in the middle, but Clayberg swings just a little bit too hard. It goes out of bounds. And we're tied again now at 12-12. Bruner had a nice eyes on that one. Saw the ball was going away. Kept it alive. Here's Jamie Hausman now with the serve. Violet Johnson with the serve. Receive. It's going to go right to the donut. And that's going to be an ace serve for Hausman. Three on the night tonight. That recaptures the lead for our Weva at 13-12. Here's Hausman with the serve. That's Violet Johnson with the serve. Receive. It's out. Hausman now. Back-to-back -back ace serves. It's now 14-12. Arweva. Jamie Hausman serves this one away. Violet Johnson gets it up top to Downing. She's got to push it over. Some nice trickery there. It's Hausman to Shirky. Now Hinners puts it into the back row, but it's going to be out of bounds. 14-13. Arweva Kuhn able to win again. Set number one, 25-20. It was a back-and-forth set one for a while there. It was 2019 Coon Rapids Baird until they were trying to, they were able to kind of get some points late and stay ahead. Back to serve here for the Coon Rapids Baird Crusaders. It's Ella Heidoff. Serve is on the way. Here's Maggie Regaler gets it to Shirky. Back to Maggie on the left side. It's into the nets. 14 all tie here. Just a little bit too late that time on the swing by Regaler. Again, Shirky is back for the first time for couple of games was not at that camp tournament had a wedding to uh, attend we'll talk about that here soon here's Shirky Lacey Davis with the pass she's going to get it to Hydoff who sets the middle to Malia Kleber tip but it's going to fly by Hausman and we're going to get a line violation or excuse me a you know, line violation that time by the Oweaver Rockets it'll be 15-14 but no to uh, Mr. Derek Shirky congratulations on the uh, Marriage. He got married this past weekend, so congratulations to him. Former R. Weaver Rocket. Maggie Regali keeps him on alive. Malia Kleber, though, swinging at the net. It was blocked by Sam Hinners, but it just went right off her arms right in front of the net. And now it's a 16-14 lead for the Coon Rapids Baird Crusaders. Here is Hydoff with the serve. It's Obrick. Gets it to Maggie Regali, who pushes it. Lacey Davis with the pass to Hydoff, who, who serves it or sets it left side and a heart. It's going to go long from the left side. 16-15 for the Crusaders. They stay ahead by a point as Delaney Shirky will be back to serve. Shirky with a high rainbow serve. It'll be Hydoff who gets it to Clayberg who's blocked out the net. Lacey Davis able to keep it alive. Whiskus with the push. Here's Obrick to Shirky. Left side to Regaler. She's going to swing in. Blocked at the net. Kept alive by Anna Hart, but right into the scoring table. And now our Weaver ties it again at 16 all. It's been a back and forth battle. I was talking with Dylan on the way up here to this matchup. We knew this was going to be a good matchup just seeing both of these teams. And, well, we've been entertained so far. Here's Lydia Hoffbauer. Gets it over to Malia Kleber. She almost gets the, the, the point that time. Cora Obert's going to have to free ball this one over. Here's Lacey Davis with the pass to Hydoff to Hart, who's blocked at the net by Hinners, but it's going to be kept alive by Maggie Regaler to Shirky. Back to Maggie Regaler. Blocked at the net. Tool is good. Maggie Regaler now with six kills unofficially. 17-16 in favor of the Rockets. Back and forth we go. Back and forth, do -si do we go. Here is... Shirky with the serve. Lacey Davis trying to come up and serve receive that time. But Shirky will come on up with her first ace serve on the night. It is 18-16. Arweba trying to win this one and force a game four. Or at least make a game four happen, I should say. Here's Shirky. Goes to the back row to Lydia Hoffbauer. To Hydoff to Malia Kleberg, who's almost blocked at the net. Sam Hinders got to push this one over. Lacey Davis able to keep it alive to Hydoff. To Whiskus, who pushes it over. Here's Houseman 
to Shirky. She sits the left side to Maggie Regaler. She swings at it off the arms of Hot to of a Hart who keeps it alive to Lydia Hoffbauer to Lacey Davis who keeps it alive. Here's Shirky. Tanner's in the middle. Lacey Davis able to dig her up. Here's Hyde off to Hart. Blocked at the net. Here's Shirky though, able to free ball it over, but it goes out of bounds. Coon Rapids Baird stays alive at 18 17. Don't forget our Mackey Motors post game show coming up following the contest. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City. Serve on the way from Anna Hart. Here's Obrick. It's kept alive somehow. Whiskus. No, nope, point Arweva. They were just about to call that. Arweva fans were groaning at that one as Malia Clayberg, or excuse me, uh, Lydia Hopbauer in the front row had two hits there. Arweva is able to get that call to go their way. It's 19 17. That was blocked by a player, so I didn't get to see it all go down that time. Trista Reese back to serve for the Rockets. Here is Lydia ha or Lydia Lacey Davis, excuse me. To Anna Hart in the front row. Blocked at the net. Whiskus though is able to push it over. Here's Obrick with the push. Davis with the, the pass to hide off. So it's at middle to Anna Hart. Or excuse me, to Clayberg, I should say. And Clayberg able to get the kill that time off the tool. Kudrap is bared within a point here. This is Clayberg with the serve. Goes off of the arms of Hausman. That's Malia Clayberg with her first ace serve on the night. It's a 19 all tie in set number two. Serve is on the way from Clayberg. This one's another ace serve. Malia Clayberg with back to back ace serves. That'll give the Arweva Rocket, or excuse me, the Coon Rapids Baird Crusaders a one point lead at 20 to 19. And the timeout's called. We'll take it with them back in 30 seconds on 93.7 KKRL. Are back here on 93.7 KKRL. Coon Rapids bared with a resurgence here in set number two. They lead 20 to 19 over our Weaver. Here's Amber Regaler with a nice swing at the net. Amber Regaler comes up with a kill for the Rockets. This has been an entertaining game throughout the entire match. We're tied at 20 all here in set two. Our Weaver trying to force a game four at the very minimum. Anna Hart gets it to Hide off with the Shelby Whiskers with the push. Maggie Regaler trying to keep it alive. Running after his Trista Reese. She can't get there in time. 21-20 in favor of the Coon Rapids Baird Crusaders. Looking to win set two here. Here is Whiskus with the serve. It's going to be Obrick to Shirky. who has got to tip it over and she gets it. Nice play by Shirky that time. Just a nice tip play. Saw it was close to the net. She decided to tip it over. Got in the donut. And gets the point for Oweva. We're tied at 21. It'll be Amber Regaler back to serve. So we will have Amber and Maggie Regaler on the floor. We'll call them by their first names here tonight. Amber Regaler with a nice top spin serve. Here's Lacey Davis. Passes it to, to uh, Downing to Aubrey Hoffbauer. She's going to swing. No, point goes to Coon Rapids Baird off the line violation. That's going to go... Oof, that is a tough one that time. Thought for sure with the hit going over, and it was Coon's ball, but are we going to get called on the penalty that time? 22-21. Now, CRB. Back here this time, and it's Lydia Hoffbauer. Serve is on the way. This one goes to Bruner, to Shirky. Now sets it on the left side to Ulbrick to the back row. Nice dig by Hoffbauer. Here's Downing, gets it to Anna Hart. It's going to be Maggie Regaler with the pass to Shirky. Now sets it to Cor Ulbrich, pulver pass by Violet Johnson. Bruner sees it, and it's going to go right into the net. 23-21 lead here for the Coon Rapids Baird Crusaders. Timeouts called on the floor. We'll take it with them back in 30 seconds on 93.7 KKRL. Hot drinks, cold drinks, tasty pastries, delicious home-cooked breakfast, and lunch. Oh, hell no. Not again. Has the roof on your home or business been damaged by the recent hailstorm? Does your roof need looked at? 
Let our Hail Damage experts at Brinks Exteriors work for you to get you a new roof. Call 712 Roof Pro. We know the last thing you want to do is worry about your biggest investment. Hail happens, but we can fix it. Call Brinks Exteriors now for a free roof inspection. 712 Roof Pro. Sets it to Aubrey Hoffbauer. Sharky trying to free ball it over, but it gets out of bounds. And all of a sudden, here's Kunrup. It's Baird again late in these sets. Are staying strong. 24-21, it's set point for CRB. Serve is on the way from Lydia Hoffbauer. It's Hausman. She gets it to Shirky. Sets it for Cora Obrick in the back row. And goes right in front of the net. Lydia Hoffbauer trying to pass it to the front row. But it's now 24-22 in favor of CRB. Sell step point. Samantha Henners comes in place of Trista Reese to the front row. Here's Cora Obrick with the serve. Goes to the back row. Violet Johnson. She gets it to Downing. Goes front row to Aubrey Hoffbauer. Shirky able to keep it alive. Here's Hausman who swings at it. Lacey Davis gets it to Downing. She's at the left side to Anna Hart who gets it to the back row. Here's Obrick. Gets it to Shirky. She's at the left side to Hausman who swings at it. On gets it. Nice tool that time off of Aubrey Hoffbauer and Downing. Hausman keeps the Rockets in this one. And now we keep going. It's Cora Obrick who sets it to the back row. Violet Johnson gets it. Now to Aubrey Hoffbauer. Lacey Davis swings out against into the net. And we're tied at 24. We'll go to extra points in set two. Nothing short of exciting here tonight. Cora Obrick. We'll serve for the Rockets again, tied at 24 apiece. Serve is on the way, goes to the back row. Viola Johnson, overpass, no pass, or set backwards that time by Aubrey, jo Aubrey Hoffbauer. Here's Hausman with the attack, Viola Johnson goes out of bounds. Arweva now, up 25-24. They have set point and the timeout's called on the floor. We will stick right here with this one as we will just talk about this game. Man, back and forth it is gone. Coon Rapids Baird looked like they were going to win this one up 24-21. All of a sudden, Arweva now leading 25-24. They'll have set point now in this set. We're in set two. Coon won set one, 25-20. Arweva wins this one. We'll at least play four. It is parents' night and pink out night tonight for the Rockets. So a great crowd on hand by both teams. Serve is on the way from Cora Obrick. Violet Johnson gets this one to Downing. She sits at left side, or in the middle to Aubrey Jensen. Aubrey Hoffbauer, excuse me. It's Shirky. She gets it to, to Hausman, Je or Violet Johnson, to Aubrey Hoffbauer. Bruner able to keep this one alive. Overpass is there. This is on the line, Aubrey Hoffbauer. I don't know how that ball did it. I kid you not, that ball was dancing like a tightrope on the tape. We're tied at 25. Aubrey Hoffbauer popping off as she should in the front row. Here's Lacey Davis with the serve. Goes to Maggie Regaler to Shirky. Sets it in the middle row to, Sh to Hausman, who's blocked at the net that time. Big block by Clayberg. And now all of a sudden, here's the Coon Rapids Bear Crusaders who are fighting for set point. They lead 26-25. Lacey Davis is back to serve again, just over the tape. Here's Maggie Regalder, Shirky, she sets it for Hinners into the back row. Lacey Davis able to get to the dig. Here's Downing to Malia Clayberg in the middle, kept alive that time by Obrick. Here's Lacey Davis to Downing. She will set it left side, Anna Hart, she gets it to the front row. Bruner to Shirky, now we're to Hausman in the back. Lacey Davis keeps it alive, pushed over that time by, by uh, Hoffbauer, she'd be, she be free balled over, Lacey Davis. To Downing, to Clayberg, blocked at the net. It's over though, Cora Cor Obrick gets it to Shirky. Over now to Hausman, out to the back row, in! What a set! Just on the line, back and forth. Anna Hart free balls it over. It goes cross on the line. And the Coon Rapids Beard Crusaders Come away with a 27-25 win in set two. And now we have a, a must-win situation here in set number three as we return in one minute on 93.7 KKRL. The Observer is a proud supporter of the... 
Being a part of a team is not only fun, it can give our students a sense of identity and help them develop long-term relationships. This is Dr. Nate Luth, Next Generation Chiropractic. Student athletes, make sure you are taking care of your body before, during, and after the game. Proper warm-ups and cool-down are vital to staying on the field or court, and having regular chiropractic appointments can help reduce the risk of injury. Stay in the game by taking care of your body. Good luck to all area student athletes this season. Let's stay healthy and have fun. At Newey Ford and Coon Rapids and Newey Auto and Jefferson, we make your vehicle buying experience stress-free. Our sales team will help determine your vehicle needs with options and features that you desire. Our finance team will explain financing terms and options best for each customer. Our service team is always here for you. From our oil changes for life program to our exclusive warranty forever. We work to keep your new way vehicle going long after the sale. Stop by and let our family help yours get into the next car, truck, or SUV. Don't forget, we have our Mackie Motors post-game show coming up following the contest. Find new roads at Mackie Motors in Lake City. A heck of a set, too, that we had our Weevil at one point down 24-21. They tie it at 25, and then Kuhn gets some magic going. It was Aubrey Hoffbauer who hit the ball at the net. It was blocked. The ball literally, I kid you not, danced on the tape, fell in, and it was a point for Aubrey Hoffbauer. And then Anna Hart got a lucky free ball that went over the net, fell in, and that was the set winner for Coon Rapids Bears. So now again, this is a must-win situation for the Oweeva Rockets. Have to force a set four and a set five if they want to come away victorious tonight on Parents' Night and Pink Out Night. It will be the CRB Crusaders and Ella Heidoff who controls the serve, but this time Oweeva for the first time all night will get the first point to go their way. Here is Michaela Schrod who will come in for Elizabeth Bruner. She'll come into the front row. I'll say this much, me and Jeff were talking about Shrod. She's got some nice height in the front row. I can't wait to see how she develops on this Arweeva team. Here comes Shelby Wiskus who gets it right over the tape. Houseman keeps it alive. Here's Shirky who gets it to Henders. who's going to push it into the back row and gets it. Somehow, some way, it is Henners who just with the push, it looked like it was going to go over, but it just fell inside the line. 2-0 lead here for the Arweeva Rockets to start off set number three. Here's Delaney Shirky, chose to serve. Nice top spin serve for this time. It'll go out of bounds. Looked to be nice, I should say. It was spinning nicely. Here's the serve, though, from Anna Hart. We get going. Tora Obrick gets to Shirky. She'll set it middle for uh, Regaler, who just dis gets the tip. Here's Clayberg. She gets it now to hide off. It's kept alive by Schrod. And Shirky's got a free ball as one over. Lacey Davis gets it over now to hide off. Set up to Clayberg, who goes line in the middle and gets it. Nice swing that time by Clayberg. There she is. Had to find her on my stat sheet there. Five kills unofficially for her tonight. She is vying for that motor in player of the game spot. Here's Anna Hart with the serve. She'll get it. It'll be Maggie Regaler to to her, and a heart keeps it alive. Free ball over now by Hoffbauer. Here's House Mentis Shirky. She's at the left side to Regaler. Tipped at the net. Lacey Davis trying to keep it alive, but Regaler swings and gets it. It's a 3-2 lead now early in set number three. If, if it's like any of these other sets, man, we're going to go back and forth here. Trista Reese will come in for Sammy Hinnert, and Reese will serve. Nine ace serves unofficially. Can actually make it 10 unofficially and make it 11. I guess I'm just speaking things into existence here. As Trista Reese puts it into the back row, comes off of Lacey Davis's hands, and Reese will come away with an ace serve. Rockets lead this one four to two. Here is the serve. It's Davis who gets it off the hide off on swinging out at that time. It's going to be Clayberg, and it's going to be the point for Clayberg. Clayberg six kills unofficially here on the night. Gets Kunap and Baird the serve, and they're down by one at four three. And speaking of Clayberg, she'll be back to serve. Here's the serve by Clayberg. Goes into the back row. Maggie Regaler's got to keep this one alive. Shirky will free this one over. It's Hart to, to hide off to Hoffbauer. Hoffbauer, though, is going to swing just a little bit too far. Lydia goes into the back row, doesn't get it. And now the Rockets lead this one at 4-3. Start, nope. And serve goes into the net. Now it's side at four apiece here in Westside, Iowa. 
Don't forget Mackie Motors postgame show coming up following the contest. Five new roads at Mackie Motors in Lake City. As Shelby Wiskus will put this one into the net for the Crusaders. Our Weevil will recapture the lead at 5-4. to four. Tell you what, though, a little bit hot here in this gym here tonight. We got another... Uh, Jaden Smith here tonight. Another Arweeva girl. Another Arweeva, uh, recent Arweeva graduate. Do you get an ace serve for the Arweeva Rockets? Elizabeth Bruner will come up with the ace serve. 6 4 Arweeva. Elizabeth just had that nice serve. Went to Anna Hart. Couldn't really do too much with it. Another nice, eight, another nice tough spin serve from her. Here comes Downey. She sets it left side to Hoppauer. Lydia Hoppauer gets it off the tape and swings into the donut. And that's the point for Lydia Hoppauer and the Crusaders as they are now down 6-5. Serve is on the way from Lydia Hoffbauer. It's Jamie Hausman who's going to get the set from Shirky. But her swing goes a little bit too long. Biggest question I had for uh, the Arweaver Rockets coming into tonight is just their ability to stay calm in situations like this. You're down two sets to zero. You know, it's a tied game. What do you do here? How do you respond? That's going to be the biggest thing I want to see from this Rockets here in set number three. Seven six lead now for Aweeva off the uh, botched serve from Coon Rapids Baird. Samantha Hinner's coming in place. A Trista Reese into the front row. It's Cora Obrek who controls the serve, and it's on the way. Here's Violet Johnson shanked outside. No kept alive somehow. And Aubrey Hoffbauer trying to keep it in bounds, but she hits it out of bounds on the other side. 8-6 in favor of the Arweva Rockets. Here comes the serve from Cora. It's Violet. Gets it now to Downing. Aubrey Jensen sends it, or Aubrey Hoppauer, excuse me, sends it on the went away. Here's Shirky. Now over to oh, Houseman right in front of the net. Houseman just looks, looks focused. I know she's looking to kind of get this Arweva team going here. I say Aubrey Jensen tonight, folks. That's an Audubon girl, so sorry about that. Aubrey Hoffbauer going to try to get that Edged in my head here tonight. Serve is on the way. Johnson gets it over now to Lydia Hoffbauer. Free ball over by Aubrey Hoffbauer. Here's Shirky with the set. Left side to Houseman. Trying to go line. Can't get it. We stay close. Coon Rapids Baird still down or still down here by two. It's 9-7 Arweva. Lacey Davis, the libero for the Coon Rapids Baird Crusaders. Back to serve here. Here's Obrick who gets it to Bruner. She's got to get it to Shirky who free balls it over. Inside, somehow, someway, Shirky, her free ball, her backwards free ball goes from the right to the left, lands inside, and Arweba will control the serve again. They lead 10-7. Houseman with the serve. Johnson with the serve receivers. Downing to Davis, who's got to send it away. It's Houseman who gets it to Shirky. To Maggie Regal, who's going to go and swing at it. Blocked at the net, keeps it alive. Samantha Hinners with the... The overpass and a heart gets it over. Maggie Regaler trying to free ball this one over. Can't quite get it. Nice playing that time in the front row by Anna Hart. We'll get a substitution as Ella Heidoff comes in place of Downing. And we'll have Shelby Wiskus in place of Violet Johnson. Here's Ella Heidoff who will come in for the serve. It's on the way to the left side. It's Houseman to Shirky. Now to, Reg to Regaler. Off the arm of Hoffbauer to Davis. Free ball over by Clayberg. Nice plays that time by the Crusaders. Here's Hitters swinging in the middle. It's going to be Hoffbauer with the dig. Here's Clayberg. Gets it to Wiskus who free balls this one over. It's Obrick to Bruner. Free ball over by Maggie Regaler. Here's Lydia Hoffbauer. She gets it to Hideoff. Blocked at the net. Samantha Hitters with a nice block. Keeping the momentum on the side of our Weaver. It's 11-8 in favor of the Rockets. Elizabeth Bruner comes out. We got Amber Regaler in the front row, so we keep Amber in. Maggie Regaler separated by their first names. Here's Delaney Shirky with the serve. Lacey Davis. Serve receives it. Hideoff sets it up to Hoffbauer. It's going to be Obrick to Shirky. Now to Maggie Regaler. It's going to be Hideoff with the pass to Lacey Davis. Set to Anna Hart, who swings at it. Goes cross from the left side. Swinging at it now is Maggie Regaler to the back row. Big swing 
by Maggie Regaler. Eight kills unofficially for her here on the night. Looking for that motor in player of the game potentially. Aubrey Hoffbauer, another one of those players looking for that motor in player of the game. Delaney Shirky, who's back, 12-8 lead for our Weba. Got scared by that one as Lydia Hoffbauer trying to serve receive at that time, is unable to do so. Delaney Shirky gets the ace serve, and that'll be the timeout here for the Coon Rapids Baird Crusaders. And we'll take it with them. We're back in 30 seconds right here on KKRL. This. It's going to work. I think so, too. American Family Insurance wants to help you bring your dream home to life. New homeowners can save an average of 22%. American Family Insurance. For details, contact Nicole Unken at Nicole Unken Agency. Call 712-792-1262 or stop by 412 Highway 30 today. Great broadcast booth, Coon Rapids Baird trailing our Weaver here on Parents Night and Pink Out Night for the Rockets, 13 to eight. Tyler Bruner, great to have you back here once again on KKRL, volleyball action and a rolling dolly conference. Here is a serve from Delaney Shirky. She's gonna try to go from the right side, from the left side, my left side, and but serves it out of bounds. 13-9 in favor of the uh, Rockets. Here's Anna Hart with the serve. Nice, keeping it alive, blocked at the net that time by Clayburn. She'll block it and get the point. 13-9, again, Coon Rabbit's Baird to my right, Arweeba to my left. I'm up here on the stage on Arweeba. So I'm at kind of a weird angle, but not too bad tonight. Here's Anna Hart with the serve for the Crusaders. Here's Jamie Hausman to Shirky. Now to Maggie Regaler in the middle. She's going to get the point. Nice swing by Maggie Regaler. Nine kills unofficially for her tonight. It is now 14-10 in favor of Arweva. Back to serve, it'll be Trista Reese. She gets it over, Lacey Davis. Pass to Heidoff who sets it for Kopauer. Block at the net, but that time it's gonna fall out of bounds. It was uh, Obrick and Amber Regaler on the block, but it just falls out of bounds. 14-11 in favor of Arweva. Here is Maggie Regaler to Shirky. Now sets a left side, or right side, excuse me, to uh, Obrecht, who gets it. Had to get my directions right there, but 15-11. Now Arweva eh, sort of in control here in set three. Maggie Regaler with the serve. Just goes out of bounds. And now it's 15-12 Arweva as Kudep it's bare trails by three. Lots of players vying for that motor in player of the game tonight. It'll be Shelby Wiskus of the Crusaders back to serve. Wiskus on the air. No, he serves quite yet for her. Obrick pass to Shirky. Sets it up now left side to Regaler. Goes cross from the left side. Here is Downing who gets it in the middle to Aubrey Hoffbauer. It's going to be dug up. Here's Shirky. Sets it middle to Obrick. Goes in the body that time of Shelby Wiskus. And there is Obrick with the kill. 16-12, four-point lead here for the Rockets in set number three. Coon one sets one, 25-20, and set two, 27-25. Regaler now with the serve, just goes right into the front row, overpassed by Anna Hart. It's Reese who gets it to Shirky, who's got a free ball it over. Lacey Davis gets it to Downing. She sets it middle for Aubrey Hoffbauer. It's in the net, though. Arweva trying to force a set four. They'll have to win out from this point if they want to win tonight. Here's Amber Regala. She'll serve it away again. She will this time go to the right side. Here is Violet Johnson. Gets it over to Downing. Push that time by Lydia Hoffbauer. It's Hausman. Gets it to Shirky. Now sits middle for Obrick. Line and gets it. Nice swing. Nice point by Obrick. And now our Weaver with our largest lead here in this set at six points. Are we even trying to keep rolling here in set number three? Regaler serves this one away. It's Violet Johnson, gets it to Downing, and now it'll be Lydia Hoffbauer to push it away. Here's Maggie Regaler to Shirky, sets it left side to Hausman, gets it to the back row. It's Hart, passes it to Downing, sets it middle for Aubrey Hoffbauer, who's going to swing and put it in the net. Might expect a timeout here soon for 
from Marissa Dembinski if things get too uh, too far away from the Crusaders in this set. Amber Regaler with the serve, goes to the back row. It's Violet Johnson, gets it to Downing, who sets it for Lydia Hoffbauer, gets it over, almost in a donut. Here's Shirky, sets it right side for, for Houseman, who goes up and get it. It's a 20-12 lead here for the Coon Rapids Baird Crusaders. Timeout's caught on the floor. We'll take it with them. We're back in 30 seconds on KKRL as Coon Rapids Baird. Family owned and operated since 1948. Quant Auto Salvage is the area's best full service scrap facility. Whether you are looking to sell scrap iron, vehicles, or batteries, or you need to locate that difficult to find part for your vehicle, they have what you need. And if it isn't in stock, they can locate it with their nationwide parts database, or you can pull it yourself at their You Pull It. Quant Auto Salvage. They sell the best and recycle the rest on Kitty Hawk Avenue in Carroll. We are back here on 93.7 KKRL from the Gatorade broadcast booth. Our Weaver playing much better here in set number three. They nail lead 20 to 12. By far their best set of the night. Here's Amber Regaler who controls the serve for our Weaver. She'll get into the back row. Violet Johnson gets it to Downing. She'll set it left side to Lydia Hoffbauer. It's Trista Reese in the back row to pass up to Shirky. Sets it middle for Cora Over. Trying to push it over. But she's going to put it into the net. Still a Seven point lead here for our Weaver. The biggest thing for our Weaver, can't let that get to their heads. Too many times here this season, they've let plays like that that didn't go their way get to their heads and then they kind of get behind. Serve is on the way from Lydia Hoffbauer. It's Cora Ulbrich sets or passes it to Shirky, sets it now left, right side to Houseman. We get a line call. Again, calls like that, those are tough. A couple of those have gone uh, to our Weaver. Then Lenny Shirky in the front row, kind of hyping up her girls. Here's Lydia Hoffbauer with another serve. It goes into the donut. Maggie Regaler gets it to Shirky. She's at the left side to Houseman. She gets it to the back row. It's Lydia Hoffbauer keeping it alive. Downing gets it to Aubrey Hoffbauer. Maggie Regaler's going to run after that one. Keeps it alive. Free ball over by Arweva. Here's Violet Johnson to Downing. She pushes it over. It's kept alive by Trista Reese. Overpass. Bruder trying to keep it alive off of the tip, but she can't. Now 2015 our weave, uh, Coon Rapids Baird crawling back in this one. Three, a three point run here as the timeout's called by our weave. We'll keep it right here for this timeout as our weaver right now just kind of getting behind on some of those, uh, some of those mistakes here. So Coon Rapids Baird, uh, biggest thing for Coon is uh, they are without Gracie Johnson, their main setter, but here tonight it hasn't been that bad for them. You know, they've had some passes here or some sets here and there that haven't gone their way, but more times than not, they're really uh, playing well without Gracie Johnson. Again, she's kind of out with an illness tonight. Hopefully Gracie gets good here soon. I've heard she's been battling some of that stuff for a while now. So Gracie, get better. We're thinking of you. 2015 Arweeva here in set number three. Arweeva trying to force a set four. Kuhn trying to win in three. Serve this time from Lydia Hoffbauer is going to go into the net. Here's the opportunity for Arweeva. Now with the Failed serve. It'll be 21-15 our Weaver. Samantha Hinders comes in place of Trista Reese into the front row. It is a hot, hot gym here tonight. A lot of people fanning themselves. I do not blame them. Cor Ulbrich! A serve goes to the back row. Lacey Davis and Violet Johnson just kind of went right behind them. They didn't kind of know who was going to go after it. So some just a bit of miscommunication that time from Lacey and from Violet in the back row for Kuhn. Cor Ulbrich again back to serve. She has five eight serves unofficially here tonight. Obrick into the back row. Lacey Davis gets this to Downing in the front. Here's Aubrey John, Aubrey, Aubrey Hoffbauer, who's going to send it far and away. 23-15. Sorry about that, folks. We got a lot of Aubreys in the area for sports, so I'm getting them mixed up now. Cara Obrick with the serve. This one, though, is going to go out of bounds. 23-16. Our Weavers two points shy of victory, but Coons looking to stay in this one. Coons won 25-20, 27-25 in sets one and two. Lacey Davis back to serve, just gets over the tape. Bruner with the serve received, gets it to Regaler. Free balled over that time by Shirky. Lacey Davis keeps this one alive. It'll be Clayberg sets it free balled over. Now by Hart, it's Shirky to Clayberg who gets it over. Bruner trying to chase after that one, and Clayberg comes away with a kill off the tool. That's the kind of momentum shift they need. 
Bruner trying to run after that one and keep it alive, but is unable to do so. Lacey Davis back to serve again. 23-17, Arweeba just on the line. Lacey Davis, Mr. Uh, Mr. Cook down here saying it was good. So Lacey Davis comes away with her first ace serve here tonight. Again, it's been a close matchup. Arweeba's only two points from victory at one point, leading 23-15, and now Kuhn is inching closer to tying this ball game up. Cooner up, it's Baird, down 23-18. Here's Lacey Davis with the serve. It's Maggie Regaller to Shirky. She sits the middle to ha to Houseman. Kind of buries her, her uh, face in her hands. And now they're going to take a timeout. We'll take it with them as Cooner up, it's Baird leads this one. 23-18 in set number three. We're back in 30 seconds on KKRL. And Team Auto Group. It's going to work. I think so, too. American Family Insurance wants to help you bring your dream home to life. New homeowners can save an average of 22%. American Family Insurance. For details, contact Nicole Unken at Nicole Unken Agency. Call 712-792-1262 or stop by 412 Highway 30 today. Set number three, they're down 23-19. Maggie Regal keeps it alive. Shirky gets it over to, to Houseman into the net. No, kept alive. Free ball over by Malia Clayberg. Bruner gets it to Shirky. Now Samantha Hendricks in the middle. Gets it to Lacey Davis who digs that one up. Here is Downing. She gets it to Anna Hart. She's going to swing from the left side. It goes cross, but it goes out. Don't forget also tonight, folks, Mackie Motors postgame show coming up following this contest. Right now it's our Weaver with set point trying to force a set four. Jamie Houseman will control the serve. Violet Johnson gets it to Downing. She sets the middle to Clayberg. Kept alive, though. By uh, the Arweeva Rockets. And a point, though, is going to go to Coon Rapids Baird. As Samantha Henders was unable to keep that ball alive. It goes right in front of the net. CRB. They're close here. Down by four. It's 24 20. One little slip up, and Arweeva will win the set here. Here is Ella Heidoff, who controls the serve. It's on the way. It's Ma Maggie Regaler to Shirky. Now back to Maggie Regaler on the right side. Swung out and got it! Maggie Regaler with the set winner. And the Arweaver Rockets will force a set four. And we'll have that set number four in one minute. Right here on 93.7 KKRL. Visiting the Faculty of Credit Union was the thing that started all this. We had a lot of student loan debt, low credit scores for bad decisions we had made in our younger years. We thought it was the point where you could never come back from it. We've always wanted to own our own restaurant, so I just kind of floated the idea like, oh, I found this food truck. I was like, yeah, let's try it. Dupaco helped us so much with just putting everything together. Definitely life-changing for us. What we have right now would not have been possible without Dupaco Credit Union. Midwest Wholesale is your local building products headquarters. We have everything you need for your smaller home improvements to the building of your home or commercial building. We pride ourselves on giving you top-notch service, quality products with competitive prices. So whether you're a do-it-yourselfer, a contractor, or you just need a little help on a project, Midwest Wholesale is a one-stop resource for all your building needs. Midwest Wholesale, how you want it, when you want it, where you want it, we deliver. internet here at Arweeva. They had lightning strikes actually here not too long ago, so they've been having some issues with their Wi-Fi. So we are going to be recording tonight's broadcast on our YouTube channel. We'll be posting it later on tonight. Arweeva forces a set number four here tonight. They win 25-20 late. It looked like Kuhn was controlling it for the most part, but now all of a sudden, here's Arweeva. They win 25-20, but now Arweeva, they got to play a little bit more sound here in set number four. They've been giving up some hits. They've been giving up some things on offense. They got to stay focused. So we go to a set four. 
And we will get going. Our Weaver will control the serve here. It's going to be Jamie Hausman. Gets it to Violet Johnson. Here is Downing. Gets it middle to Malia Clayberg. Blocked at the net by Sammy Hammers. Kept alive by Downing. It's Clayberg who sends it over. Maggie Regaler gets it in the front row. Pushed by Sammy Hinners. Kept alive. Somehow free ball over. Bounces around the uprights. And it is a point for our Weaver. It was a nice chase by the Crusaders. It just went right into the Raptors, bounced around like a pinball, and it's a point for Oweva. 1-0 lead for the Rockets here in set number four. Goes off with the basketball hoop. Here's Anna Hart. Can't keep it alive. Some crazy plays here already. As Jamie Hausman will be credited that time with the ace. Roughly five unofficially for her tonight. Jamie Hausman. With another serve, 2-0 lead for Aweeva. Violet Johnson gets it to Downing. It'll now be Anna Hart getting it over. Here's Bruner to Shirky. She sits at right side to Regaler, who blocked at the net. Hinner's still going to put it back over. Violet Johnson tipped over that time by Clayberg. Clayberg will get the kill that time. It's 2-1 in favor of Aweeva. We'll get a substitution here. We'll have Ella Heidoff coming in place of Downing and Shelby Wiskus in place of Violet Johnson. Good rotation so far here tonight for Coon Rapids Baird, even though they're down Gracie Johnson. Been playing very well, been setting the wall. I'm, I'm very happy with how Downing is setting tonight. Maggie Regaler swings at it on the right side and gets it. Maggie goes the line, gets it into the back row and gets the kill. 11 unofficially for her tonight as our Weaver gets out to a 3-1 lead in set four. It'll be Delaney Shirky back to serve. Two eight serves on her for tonight. Here's Lacey Davis who will get it up to Hideoff. Sits it middle to Clayberg. It's kept alive. No out of the hands of Obrick that time. It was Clayberg swinging at that time. Goes right through the hands of Obrick into the crowd behind her. And Coon Rapids Baird controls the serve. Down by one. Here's Hart with the serve. That one is out. So again, our Weaver here in this set needs to stay focused. Can't get things get to their heads. Can't get frustrated. Need to stay calm in these situations. Could see they're getting frustrated in, in set number three. So they got to stay calm and they got to lift each other's spirits up. Trista Reese will come in place of Samantha Hinners. Here is Trista Reese with the serve. Lacey Davis. She'll get it to hide off. Free balled over by Lydia Hoffbauer. It's diving for it is is diving for it was Hausman to Shirky to. Regaler to Maggie Regaler, who couldn't get it over the net. 4-3 lead here for Arweva Kuhn. Trails by one. Here's Malia Clayberg. Gets it to Maggie Regaler. Now to Shirky. Back to Maggie near the 10-foot line, but is unable to get it over. 4-4 lead here, or 4-4 tie, I should say, for both these teams. Back and forth we go again in this contest. Maggie Regaler gets it to Shirky. Now she sells it for Samantha Hinners on the left side. Off of the hands of Anna Hart. Or I should say, excuse me, that's, uh, that's Shrod. It looked like it was Hinners, but Shrod able to get the kill that time. Nice play by Shrod. Again, she's got some nice height in the front row. Is able to get a very nice kill that time. It'll be Maggie Regaler. She gets it back row to Anna Hart. Set up by Hideoff. It'll be Aubrey, Je Aubrey Hoppauer to get it. Maggie Regaler just swings at that one too far, trying to keep it in. It bounces off the ceiling, comes down, and it's the point for Coon Rapids Baird. Here is Shelby Wiskus, who will be back to serve for the Crusaders. We also got Downing back into the rotation. Here's Hausman. She'll get it to Maggie Regaler. Back to Hausman on the right side. It's kept alive by Wiskus. Pushed over by Lydia Hoffbauer. Reese with the pass to Shirky, who sets it up right side for Hausman. Free ball over by Wiskus. Here's Maggie Regaler to Shirky. Pushed by Obrick, and she gets the corner. Nice play by Cora Obrick. 6-5 lead for the Arweva Rockets. Shelby Wiskus comes out, and Violet Johnson will come in her place. More rotations here, or substitution, I should say, for the Coon Rapids Baird Crusaders. Elizabeth Bruner back to serve here. Nine aces on the season for her. Let's see what she can do here. That'll just be under the net. We're tied now at six all here in set four. Arweva has to win this one and force a set five. Coon needs this one to win the match. Here is Lydia Hoffbauer. 
who gets it off. It's Maggie Regaler to Shirky. Now on the left side to Obrecht, but it's kept alive by Downing. Hit over by Anna Hart. Here's Maggie Regaler to Shirky. Now she says right side to Hausman. It's Lacey Davis who keeps it alive. Downing gets it over to Anna Hart. It's going to be Maggie Regaler with the pass to Shirky. She sits at right side to Jamie Hausman who gets the tool. Jamie Hausman getting excited on that one. 7-6 lead for the Rockets. Another substitution. Trista Reese comes out and Samantha Hinners in for her in the front row. Here's Tor Obrick with a nice float serve. It's Violet Johnson to Anna Hart. Over to Aubrey Hoffbauer. It's kept alive, though, by Violet Johnson. Lacey Davis gets it over to Anna Hart on the left side. Here's Tor Obrick trying to keep it alive. Maybe your gal's got to run over and keep it alive. No one's there. No communication from the front row from Arweva. And that falls, and it's going to be a point for CRB. Fourth tie here in this set. 7-7 seven, seven. as Lacey Davis, the libero for CRB, back to serve. Davis just gets it over to tape. Bruner's serve receive is going to go into the rafters, come down in front of the net. And that's an ace serve for Lacey Davis. 8-7 in favor of the Kunarvitz Baird Crusaders. They do grab their first lead of the contest, or the set, I should say. Jamie Hausman to Shirky to Ulbricht, but Arweva can't keep it alive. Another eight serve for Lacey Davis. 9-7 in favor of CRB. And the timeout's called by Arweva. We'll take it with them. We'll be back in 30 seconds right here, 93-7 KKR. At Newey Ford and Coon Rapids and Newey Auto and Jefferson, we make your vehicle buying experience stress-free. Our sales team will help determine your vehicle needs with options and features that you desire. Our finance team will explain financing terms and options best for each customer. Our service team is always here for you, from our Oil Changes for Life program to our exclusive warranty forever. We work to keep your Newey vehicle going long after the sale. Stop by and let our family help yours get into the next car, truck, or SUV. Gatorade broadcast booth. Tyler Bruner joining you here tonight in Westside, Iowa. The Oweaver Rockets right now trailing the Kunovitz Baird Crusaders by a score of 9 to 7 in set 3. Or excuse me, in set 4. Serve is on the way from Lacey Davis and it's kept alive somehow by Sammy Hitters. Malia Kleber taking uh, advantage of the overpass. Free ball over by Sammy Hitters. It's going to go out of bounds. 10 7 in favor of the Crusaders. Crusaders win this set. They win the match. Arweva wins. We go to a set five. Lacey Davis, the libero for Coon Rapids. Baird sends this one away. It's Bruner. Gets it over to Maggie Regaler. She's going to push it over. It's going to be Lydia Hoffbauer to Lacey Davis who calls off her girls. Free ball over this time by Kleber. It's Bruner to Shirky. She gets it middle. Push by Maggie Regaler. It's going to be Lydia Hoffbauer. She gets it to Downing who sets it to, to Kleber. Obrick now to, to Hausman who gets the kill. Hausman that time I can kind of see she got the kill but didn't really get excited like she did last time. I don't know if it's frustration or she's tired. It has been a very tiresome game. Violet Johnson with an overpass goes to Hausman in the back row. Here Shirky gets it down to Maggie with Gallard. It's Anna Hart who gets it to Downing. Middle for Clayberg. Here's Obrick with the pass to Shirky. She sits at middle for Henners, who's blocked at the net. Free ball over my Maggie Regaler. Here's Downing. She sits at left side to Hart. Hausman keeps this one away. Pass to Shirky to, Ma to Maggie Regaler, but the pass just goes over Maggie. Or the, excuse me, the set goes over Maggie. 11-8 in favor of Coon Rapids Baird. Ella Heidoff comes back into the contest in, favor, in place of Downing. And it'll be Shelby Wiskus in place of Violet Johnson. Ella Heidoff will control the serve. Heidoff with two ace serves already tonight. It's on the way. Maggie Regaler passes it to Shirky. Shirky, game time decision, had thoughts of setting it, but she wanted the tip at the last moment and couldn't get it. Leave Isaac Schaefers, the Arweva co head football coach, she is in the building as well. Great to see him here. Here's Heidoff with the serve off of the body and maybe the chin of Obrick. So Heidoff comes away with another ace serve. It's a 12-8 lead. Actually, it'd be 13-8 lead here for 
The Coon Rapids Baird Crusaders serve on the way from high enough just over the tape. Maggie Regaler gets it to Shirky. It's now hit Hitters who's got to push it over off of Anna Hart. And Lady Hopbauer keeps it alive. Barely not all. It was almost freed over by Lacey Davis. Just got in front of the net. And our Weevil will finally break a scoring run here from CRB. It was a 5-0 scoring run there for Coon Rapids Baird. Our Weevil now down 13-9. Here's Lady Hopbauer. Gets it out of hide off. It's Shelby Wiskus with a push. Ulbrich passes it up to Shirky, who sets it right side to her Galler. It's out. It's been a very entertaining game, back and forth, point after point. It's been close all the way. Couldn't have his bear to one, set one, 25-20, set two, 27-25. And it looks like the point's actually gonna go to our Weaver. They're gonna say, I believe, tip that time. 10-13, point now this time is gonna go to the Crusaders. I was looking down at my paper, didn't see what happened. It was supposed to be uh, 9, 10, 13, but now it's 10, or 14, 10, I should say. Here's Maggie Regaler to Shirky. She's going to set it middle to Regaler again. She's going to go cross into the net. Hide off. Had a kind of a game time decision. Came off the, the rafters. Her initial, her reaction was to go out for it again, but of course that's going to be two touches. Our Weevil with the chance here. They're down by three at 14 to 11. Back to serve. It'll be Trista Reese. Serve is on the way. Not sure. Uh, okay. Not sure what happened. We'll replay that serve. The up official had said something. I had headphones on. Didn't I don't think the whistle had blown. But the serve now on the way, and that's going to cost him. And it'll go into the net. So I believe Trista Reese just served a bit early. He was forced to pause and kind of get off rhythm there. She put it into the net, and now CRB with a 15-11 lead. Here's a Reese with the pass to Shirky. She'll get it on the right side to Oberg who gets it over. It's Kleber to Hydoff. Now back to Aubrey Hoffbauer, but Hoffbauer puts it into the net. Aubrey Hoffbauer trying to etch her name into their motor and player of the game. She has eight kills unofficially. Kleber too, having a nice night with nine kills. Serve is on the way for Maggie Regaler. It's going to be Anna Hart to Hydoff. Lacey Davis has got a free ball this one over. Pass by Regaler. Gets it up to Shirky. Sets it middle for Cora Obrick off of the arms of Anna Hart. Cora Obrick comes away with nine kills. Now Arweva with some momentum. They still trail by two at 15 13. Arweva now starting to trust themselves, have a little bit of fun. You can see some frustration in this set. Regaler with the serve. It's Anna Hart. She gets it to Hydoff. Davis has got to get this over, just over the tape. Shirky keeps it alive, and it's not going to be good as Shirky trying to not step on Maggie Regaler at all. That was a little bit tough that time. We will get a substitution from Coon Rapids Baird as Hydoff comes out, and we'll have Downing into the contest as well. Got some sweats. Yeah, we just got a little bit of a wet spot. Lacey Davis caught that there. She was trying to <laughs> rub it off with her... Uh, her shirt that time, but we'll get a towel and wipe that up. Good opportunity to remind you about our Motor Inn player of the game. Motor Inn of Carroll, your premier Toyota Chevy and Buick dealership for everything sales, service, parts, and collision. We'll have we'll name our Motor Inn player of the game after the contest. Get a photo of our player of the game up to our Carroll Broadcasting Sports Network, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram pages. Shelby Wiskus controls the serve for CRB. Here's Reese past to Shirky. She sets it now left side or middle, I should say, to Obrick. Lacey Davis keeps it alive. Here's Downing now sets it left side to Lydia Hoffbauer. Trista Reese able to keep it alive. Gets it to Shirky. She sets it middle. Nope. Off of the rafters. 17-13 in favor of the Coon Rapids Baird Crusaders. It's Shelby Wiskus. Who's back? Here's Trista Reese. She gets it to Shirky. Free ball over now by Obrick. Here's Lacey Davis with the pass. She'll get it to Downing. Downing sets it middle for Lydia Hoffbauer. It's going to be a pass by Obrick to Shirky. Back to Obrick in the middle. Swung at it, but it goes out of bounds. So now here's CRB rolling. And we'll get a timeout by the Arweva Rockets. We'll, keep, we'll take it with them. We're back in 30 seconds right here on 93.7 KKRL. 
Olson's Outdoor Power is your one-stop service and equipment shop for all things outdoor. We sell the best power sports products in the business from Polaris, Can-Am, Sea-Doo, and Ski-Doo, trailers to tackle any job from H&H, Triton, and Wilson, and we continue to lead the way in lawn and garden equipment with great products from x Dixie Chopper, Husqvarna, Cub Cadet, Steel, and Echo. Add factory train technicians in two locations, and it's easy to see why Olson's Outdoor Power is the leader in all things outdoor. Olson's Outdoor Power, your one-stop service and equipment shop with locations in Atlantic and Carroll. Victory here tonight. Shelby Wiskus will serve it into the net for the Crusaders. And Arweeva trailing this one by four. Had the momentum going into this set. They led by as much as 4-2 yeah, at one point. We've been back and forth. And Coons kind of taking control late. Amber Gallagher for the Rockets with the serve. Here's Violet Johnson to Downing. Gets it over to Aubrey Hoffbauer. Here's Shirky with the, with the set to Houseman, it's dug up by Davis. Free ball over that time by Aubrey Hoffbauer. It's J uh, Houseman. Houseman to Shirky. Back to Houseman. Houseman's trying to say touch. And the up and down officials say otherwise. You kind of see some of the frustration here from the Rockets. Understandably, it's parents' night. It's a big night for the Rockets right now. Down two sets to one to Kuna up. It's Baird, 19-14 lead for CRB. Harris Houseman swinging at it from the right side. Kept alive by Lydia Hoffbauer to Anna Hart. Now to Lacey Davis. Free balled over. Maggie Regala with the pass to Shirky. Set middle to Maggie or to uh, Cora Ulbrich. Just going to send that one far and away. It's 20-14 in favor of the Crusaders. They lead by six. And our Weaver needs to win this one if they want to force a set five. Here's the serve by Lydia Hoffbauer. Pass by Maggie Regaler at the net, blocked. It's Anna Hart and Aubrey Hoffbauer with the blocks. It's now 21-14 in favor of the Coon Rapids Baird Crusaders. Back to serve again, it's Lydia Hoffbauer. It's Obrick to Shirky, back to Obrick. She's got to push it over. It's Downing, push over by Aubrey Jensen, or Aubrey Hoffbauer. Here's Hausman's gonna swing at it, but it goes long. Hausman was on the run when she was swinging that one, really didn't get to establish a good jump as her momentum was carrying her forward and she's ended up over swinging that one. 22-14 CRB. Here's Lydia Hoffbauer to Maggie Regala. Shirky gets it over to Obrick on the left side. Here's Lydia Hoff or Lacey Davis. Gets it over to Downing to Aubrey Hoffbauer who pushes it into the front row and Hoffbauer comes away with the point for CRB. Coon Rapids Baird, two points away from a 3-1 victory here tonight in Westside, Iowa. Serve is on the way from Lacey Davis, or Lacey Hoffbauer, or Lady Hoffbauer, excuse me. Houseman's gonna try to swing at it. She does and gets it in the back row. Good swing by Jamie Houseman. 15, 20, or 23, 15 in favor of Coon Rapids Baird. Arweeva now has to carry this momentum with them. Lacey Davis will pass it up. Sets it, I should say, to Anna Hart. Here's Cora Oberk at the pass to Shirky. She'll set it right side to Hausman. Swings at it well and gets the point. So now Hausman with 10 kills unofficially here tonight. 23-16. Arweeva needs to carry this men's momentum again. Force is set five. Cora Obrick with the serve. It goes to the back row. Violet Johnson. Two of the back. And it's an ace serve for Cora Obrick. Six unofficially for her tonight. Arweeva crawling back in set four. Cora Obrick back again to serve for the Rockets. It is on the way to the back row. Violet Johnson off the roof. It's going to be Lydia or Lacey Davis to Aubrey Hoffbauer who free balls it over. Maggie McGaller passes it up to, to Hausman who's going to be dug up. Downing gets it over to Hart. Here's Shirky to Hinners. In the middle, but she sends it far and away. That one is tough. One point away from victory is CRB. It's set and match point. Aubrey Hoffbauer comes on out. We do have Claybrook back into the contest in the front row. Here's Lacey Davis with the serve. It's to the back row. Bruner, she'll get it to Shirky. Houseman's got to push it over. Here's Hart to Claybrook. Hart swinging at it. It goes long. 
Arweba staying alive here. It's 24, 18 CRB. Jamie Hausman now with the serve. Hausman's serve is on the way. Violet Johnson gets it over to Downing. She'll set it back to Lacey Davis. Davis sends this one away. It's Hausman. Gets it to Shirky. Shirky sets it on the right side. No! It goes underneath the hoop or underneath the net. And CRB comes away with a 25-18 victory here in Westside, Iowa. CRB wins it 25-20, 27-25, 20-25, and 25-18. Coon Rapids Baird will now improve to 7-18 overall on the season. And Arweva falls to 13 and 14 overall. We are going to wrap up our video portion here tonight on 93.7 KKRL. Don't go too far, though, on the radio side of life. We got post game interviews with our Mackie Motors post game show. That's coming up next on KKRL. Since 1968, Mackie Motors has been serving Lake.